Alright guys, what's up? Um, this will be the unboxing of the Griffin Elevator Stand I bought at the App Store for $39.99, uh, which when you use, you know, lifting up my MacBook and getting better ventilation. But before I move over to the next clip, I just want to tell you guys I got my braces off last week, uh, last Monday. It's really exciting. Um, I just thought it might be interesting news for you guys. Um, after having them for six years, it's really relieving to get them off and have to be done with them. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. On to the unboxing. Here's the bag. Um, pull it out for you guys. Let me show it to you. Griffin Elevator, obviously made by Griffin. What it does, it raises your uh, laptop, I think I believe 5.5 inches up, um, allowing you to have, you know, make it easier for you to view it. And it's actually really useful when you want to use your laptop like a desktop and get an external, you know, mouse and keyboard, which I'm doing right now. So raising it up will probably prevent neck strain and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, and have space underneath. Uh, my desk never has enough room, so I can just, you know, place stuff underneath my MacBook now and get some more room. All right, so open this tab. There's no stickers or anything on it. That's weird. Right. Oh, okay, it opens like this. All right, when you open this flip lid on top, you're presented with the three pieces. Seems like there's no documentation or anything, but it seems like anyone can put this book together. All right. Really sturdy piece of clear acrylic plastic, it seems. Um, two rubber feet on the bottom, uh, a lot of friction if you feel them now. And it has the Griffin logo right through it. You guys can see that. Let's place that here. And then I believe these are the two legs um, wrapped in this plastic. Now, how do I get this off? I just slide it off? Yeah. Okay. Really simple, no tape. Thank goodness, I hate that tape stuff. All right, here's one leg. And then there's the other. Now, let's the box out of the way. Simplest packaging I've ever seen. And there's not even any documentation. I think. Yeah, nothing. Put this out of the way. So here's one leg. Here's the plastic. And let's open the other one. Okay, I believe, yeah, it's upside down. Yeah. So these two rubber parts are where your bottom of your computer is going to, you know, be touching the stand. So there's a lot of friction, uh, hopefully not a lot of slipping. Um, it doesn't seem like it'll slip a lot. And so we have this very sturdy aluminum. It's very solid, um, well-weighted in this plastic holding together. Um, it's not flimsy at all. It's, like, very tough. Um, I'm trying to think what would this plastic be made out of. Any other things that are made of this kind of plastic, but let me think about it. Um... I don't know, it's, you can hear it slap against my hand. It's really solid. So I'm not very worried about putting this um, underneath my MacBook. So all you do is just slide this in. Very simple. And there you have it. Like so. It looks like this. Um, the feet on the bottom, there's four feet, two long ones, and they're actually a little taller. So it gives you that kind of raised elevation you, you would want when you're surfing on a computer. Um, really nice. So previously my MacBook did have a stand to rest upon, but as you can tell, it's very low to the ground and it only helped for ventilation. It didn't help you when you're actually surfing on the computer. Very low, it's almost the same height you would put your laptop on. So let me just pop my MacBook off. And it's just this very basic, sorry, there go. very basic, like just this plastic X, I guess, thing and you fold together. So it's really great for travel, but I wanted something a little higher so I can look at my MacBook easier when I'm dual screening with my monitor. Um, I got it at less than $10 somewhere at a local store. And um, I'll probably just keep this around and um, use it if I ever need to. But it wasn't bad. It's like cheap plastic construction, but it did the job well. And I think my MacBook ran cooler because of it too. So let me show you the stand now. Here's the new Griffin stand. Looking good. I don't want to put it too close to the edge of the table. And uh, you rest your map up right on top, like this. And uh, you can see how tall it is from up from the uh, bottom of the desk. Let me show you the height. The height of one MX Revolution, I guess you can say. And when you open it up, it's actually on a tilt. Here, let me show you. It's actually on a tilt because um, it's easier for surfing. Uh, and, and there's a lot, a lot of room down here. You can probably fit my external hard drive under here. So I really love that for the extra storage now I can use. Um, and I'm going to do from the side view now. 
And it's actually, there's a lot of friction. I'm trying to move it right now um, on the desk. But you can see, angled right down here. Um, really nice construction. I'm very impressed. I'm very glad I purchased this now. Uh, there's a lot of ventilation for underneath my MacBook, just in case it overheats. And um, it'll be really nice to surf alongside with my second monitor. Uh, thanks for watching. As a side note, I was trying to take off this bottom of my like iPhone case, the in-case slider, and like I slammed my hand against the keyboard, like right on this edge right here, and look what it did to me. Yeah, thanks Apple.